the network for the AV industry. What are you listening to? This. This is AV. This. This. This is AV Nation. Nation. This is AV Nation. Hey, this is Matt Scott from avnation.tv. I'm here with my good friend, Philip Cordell. You know him as Hi-Fi. We are back after a long extended uh, break. Shall we call it a break? We shall. Let's call it a break. Essentially, if you have been under a rock, you don't use the Twitterverse, uh, and you don't listen to anything else that we do. Um, We both had kids, and that kind of took me a little bit, not not having the kid by surprise, but how much work the uh, the lovely little Bambino was, it kind of surprised me. Totally caught off guard over here as well, Matt. A was little not bit. at all ready for the, for the, a, uh, yeah, the time oh God, no. that this was going to take, yeah. <laughs> no, and, and realizing that you don't get anything from like the time I get home at 5 mm-hmm. to 7 o'clock, depending, uh, up until the time he goes to bed. Yeah, your life is not your own. No one filled me in on that one. <laughs> and yet completely enriching in a new and previously unexperienced way. Oh, most definitely, but it, it, mm. it, it's just it's a little surprising. But anyways, we're back, we're here, uh, and we're ready to, to look at some stuff. So let's check I, it out. Yeah, so let's, let's check it out. Um, I'm going to kick this off real quick with an app that, I don't know. We were looking at what apps we're going to use uh, to kind of kick off our reboot, and we both kind of centered back on one that is so simple yet so pertinent in our everyday lives. I, I know for myself for sure, and as soon as I mentioned it to you, you agreed. Every day I'm using this thing. Every day we use this thing. So I'm going to kick it off, and you shall see it in two seconds. All right, so we're going to go into Speed Test. Now, this is one of those apps that you might say, this is ridiculous. Why are you guys covering such a basic app? But you know what? This is one of those things that we use to troubleshoot and test almost every day on site. Uh, And you're also going to get a good test of how fast and or slow my Rogers Internet is working up here in Canada. Um, so the thing I love about this app is the simplicity of it. As you saw, all you do is you launch it and you hit run or begin, and it's going to kick off and go. And Whoa. I'm actually doing okay today. Scorching. Good for you. Look at that. It's the upload that I'm concerned about. But as you can see, it's going to run our ping. It's going to run some download time. <coughs> and then it's going to pop and give us our upload time. Now, the plus for me is a couple of things about this app. One, it actually shows you what you're getting, both over Wi-Fi or if you're using this on a computer, it'll tell you what you're getting on, obviously, your computer. Uh, So it's a great way to test if you've got, you know, a, a network that's just being troublesome. You can really drill down and see if your problem is behind a switch, if your problem is behind a router, if your problem is behind a firewall because you can go in and connect direct to any of those devices or behind any of those devices and get that information. So as you can see, it's showing us what we got there. We can come over and it will log our results, which is also cool, and show you how often you're using it. Plus you can go in and see your settings. So you can auto select your servers. It can tell you who's running those servers your uh, external and internal IP addresses, all that fun stuff. And it'll tell you a little bit about it, which is really, really cool. Um, But I got to say, this is one of those apps that (coughs) I use all the time. And, you know, it's so so simple, but it's so helpful, uh, essentially on a daily basis. Yeah, absolutely, man. I mean, this is... uh... You know, the name of the game in today's AV industry and uh, AV technicians, project managers, lead techs uh, of old didn't have to deal with this stuff. You know, they were never asked to set up uh, a network for their client. And that's something that we're asked on just about every job we do now, whether it's a uh, wireless, in which case speed test is a must, uh, or just a, a typical wired uh, network for our, you know, Crestron, AMX, Control 4, whatever you've got uh, to communicate. 
through, you know, we're setting up a network for, for the gear to talk. Uh, and so this has been, I know for us, just a uh, invaluable tool in terms of seeing kind of what, what kind of speed you're dealing with. Yeah, I, I must say I'm a huge fan. I love uh, really how simple it is. Uh, and I always keep coming back to that because I've used a bunch of different speed test apps and this is by far the best. It's kind of become the de facto standard, uh, at least in our part of the world, especially because if you want to, you can pick what server you're going to. And to me, that that is one of those things that if I know I'm having a problem, but it's showing that I'm not, I can go and pick a server, you know, 200 miles away or 500 miles away and see how much my results differ. So it's been fantastic for me. Yeah, man. And, and again, setting up the network to me is the new version of, hey, man, can you help me hang my TV or can you help oh, me get my home stereo right. set up? Now it's like, hey, do you know anything about networking? Like, yeah, yeah can, matter can of fact, I, do. I actually, I got right? home. I got home today, and one of my neighbors, we got talking real quick, and we started having this debate over the quality of, you know, different internet providers in our area, mm -hmm. their their routers, and and some speed issues they were having. And I'm like, yeah, guys, I gotta I gotta go. I gotta I gotta shoot a podcast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but all right, let's <coughs> excuse me, let's give this a quick rating. Uh, as you know, on this show, we normally rate things in fives. So I'm going to give this five bars. But let's use that as our, our rating, five Wi-Fi bars. What do you say, my friend? What do you rate this at? Man, to me, for what it does, this is, to, to me, this is kind of like the perfect app for, for this. You know, so, I mean, I'm willing to give this thing five Wi-Fi bars. We're at full strength. We are at full strength. I, I agree completely, especially for this one fact. This is the free version. I, I don't. I don't even use the paid version. It has ads. They don't get in my way. They don't disrupt the app at all. It doesn't matter. It's something I can use for free and get the full functionality out of it. I give this thing five uh, Wi-Fi bars as well. Boom. Boom. Just like that. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching this lovely episode of the AV App Show with Matt and Phil. As we said, we're, we're glad to be back. We're sorry we were gone for so long, uh, but you can look forward to more episodes from us, uh, uh, essentially two a month you should be expecting to see. And if you've got any ideas of some apps that you'd like us to take a look at, please shoot us an email, tweet us at avnation.tv, uh, and would love to get your take on some apps that we should look at. So for more information, please visit avnation.tv. Uh, to find Phil, where can they find you, my friend? Check me out on Twitter at the underscore AV underscore pro. You can find me on my YouTube page at youtube.com backslash high fidelity, H-I-P-H-I-D-E-L-I-T-Y. Uh, or find me on my website, theavprofessional.com. Beautiful. And for uh, myself, you can find me obviously at avnation.tv or <coughs> pretty much online anywhere at Matt D. Scott. So thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks. the network for the AV industry. What are you listening to? This. This is AV. This. This. This is, is AV, AV Nation. Nation. This is AV Nation.